Hello guys, Jared here, and um, I'm going to do a review on the movie Good Burger. Yes, so this movie is on um, Netflix in the UK, that's how I watched it, and um, basically this movie is about, um, you know, it's the start of um, the summer holidays at the school, the uh, high school, and uh, we have Dexter, who's played by uh, Keenan Thompson, who, um, he drives, but, you yeah, know, he doesn't have a driver's license, um, and basically, um, you have Ed, who's played by, you know, uh, Kel Mitchell, and basically he, like, roller skates past, and, you know, he makes um, Dexter um, crash into his teacher, who's played by um, Sinbad, and I know Sinbad is also in the movie um, Jingle All the Way with Arnold Schwarzenegger, and uh, basically, um, because of that, um, he has to have, like, a summertime, he has to get, like, a summertime job to pay... Um, you know, for the damage on his teacher's car. So he gets a job at working at um, a fast food restaurant called Good Burger, and uh, basically he has to work with um, Ed, played by Kel Mitchell, who, you know, is the one who made him uh, crash into um, the teacher's car in the first place. And, you know, they kind of fall out at first because of the fact that, you know, um, he's the reason why he has to work there, but then eventually, you know, they become kind of friends. And, you know, you also have, um, there's a rival uh, restaurant called Mondo Burger. And, yeah, and, you know, uh, Keenan Thompson and Kel Mitchell, they're, you know, they're known for doing, you know, their Nickelodeon show together, Keenan and Kel. But um, uh, they also did, um, you know, I should mention, uh, Good Burger is based on like a sketch from another show um, on Nickelodeon that they were that they were in called um, uh, All That, which was like a sketch show starring like teenagers and stuff, um, meant for like kids. And uh, this uh, movie, Good Burger, uh, this is just uh, it's a very silly movie, but it's a movie that just. <laughs> has me laughing hysterically all the pretty much almost all the way through it. I mean, it is just one of the funniest movies I can think of. And, you know, I think, like, even um, Kel Mitchell's voice that he does for Ed is just, <laughs> I find, is really funny. He's, he's very good at doing, like, um, kind of the smoker voice. And, you know, he his... Is his catchphrase, you know, is welcome to Good Burger, home oh, after Good Burger, can I take your order? And you know, you also have a lot of great uh, wordplay with um, with uh, the character of Ed. You know, you have like the scene where somebody's complaining because he only gave him a bun, and he says, you know, I asked for one Good Burger with nothing on it, and that's what I gave you. No, you gave me a bun, just a bun, but you said you wanted nothing on it. <laughs> Yeah, and then he's like, I'm going to report your name to the manager. And then he says, the manager already knows my name, <laughs> you know. And, um, and another scene um, of wordplay I liked was uh, when the manager of, you know, um, Mondo Burger is trying to bribe um, Ed into joining them. And he says, you know, a uh, good burger, you get paid $5 an hour. And he says, how does $10 sound? And he says, I don't know. <laughs> puts ten dollars up to his ear, you know, and um, what's funny, because this is Nickelodeon, and this was a few years before Spongebob came out, but I kind of feel like um, Good Burger is kind of like the human version of Spongebob, I mean, because I mean, it's very cartoony, it's live action, but it feels like a big cartoon, and you know, the Good Burger is basically um, the Krusty Krab, and uh, Mondo Burger is basically the chum bucket because they're rival restaurants, and also um, you know Ed invents like a secret sauce, which is you know like the secret recipe to the Krabby Patty, and you know um, also you know Dexter Keenan Thompson's character you know can't drive just like our SpongeBob can't drive, and you know, I think uh, Kel Mitchell's character Ed is pretty much as dumb as Patrick, you know, I, and I know that Patrick doesn't work for the Krusty Krab, you know, but I'm just saying that. Oh, and another thing um, in this that reminds me of Spongebob is um, they, they like, drive around in, like, this car that has a big burger on the front of it, which reminds me of, you know, the patty wagon in uh, the first Spongebob movie, um, which, yeah, and it's just a ton of fun, this movie.
And um, another thing that like that I found really funny and also kind of reminded me of SpongeBob is like at the end, like um, uh, Ed explains like his plan, um, like why he did what he did, and he says like he had this you know plan behind it, um, and you know he's he's before like in the whole movie he's just been really you know dumb, but he has like this really like clever you know plan, and like he's like. And Dexter's like, you planned all that? And he says, yeah, of course I did. I'm not stupid. You know? And that kind of reminded me of, like, sometimes in Spongebob, kind of the joke is that um, Patrick is just really um, uh, smart out of nowhere, you know. <laughs> Which, yeah, him just being really smart out of nowhere after being just really uh, stupid throughout the entire movie, I just found very funny. And, you know, you said, you know, Mondo Burger, like, making these, like, really giant burgers, and, you know, it's, it's like, who would, you know, actually eat them, and, you know, they're making them, like, artificially, um, which is, you know, not very, uh, good for the customers, but, um, they, like, sabotage, you know, good burger by putting, like, um, like, poison on the good burger, in, like, the good burger secret recipe, so, yeah. <coughs> And, you know, uh, Keenan and Kel themselves, you know, they have really great chemistry, which, you know, is why they have their own show together, Keenan and Kel. I mean, they just really work off each other very well and are very funny. So, overall, I mean, I think Good Burger is a ton of fun. Um, it's on Netflix in the UK, so if you're in the UK and you have Netflix, I definitely recommend uh, checking this movie out and giving it a watch. It's a very silly, very, very silly movie. Um, but it's a ton of fun, and yeah, thanks for watching, bye.